Ladies and gentlemen, people of Earth, friends and enemies, <laughs> <laughs> citizens of the universe, you are listening to Blah Blah Live! Blah Blah Live! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rob Grams. Yeah, you didn't say your name before. <laughs> uh, yeah, we changed Sorry, you. sorry. My name is Mamen Rivera. And you're listening to the show that welcomes you to the weekend. Wow, blah, that was blah, fast. Blah. The show that welcomes you to the weekend. The show that welcomes you to the weekend. The show that welcomes you to the weekend. Yes, it's Blah Blah Live, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> before we do anything, anything, Rob, can I ask you something? Yes. <laughs> ¿Cómo dijiste el otro día? Eh, me dejó mis, me, mis auriculares. My headphones. No, no dijiste eso. You said something different. Did I? Mi headphones. Ah, mi headphones. Mi yeah, headphones. Yeah. That's the correct way to say it if you're from God's country. <laughs> so I spent Yorkshire. most of my, my, my English teachers at school spent yeah. many years <laughs> telling me that <laughs> M-Y is pronounced my and not yeah. me. And look at that. Terrible teachers. It's not my <laughs> fault. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, it's pronounced my, my headphones. But if you're lucky enough to come from Yorkshire, like myself, you are allowed to say me headphones. Can I say me headphones? You certainly can say me headphones. When? Okay. <laughs> so, guys, um, if you are listening to us on traditional, um, traditional radio in your car, or gathered around the radio um, uh, the radio set like you're in the 18th century, <laughs> then you are missing 50% of the show. What you need to do is go to facebook.com barra Grupo Baugan, look for where it says live, and tune in like the 31 people Whoa. that are listening right now and interact with the show live. So there are 31 people watching us right now right on now. Facebook and none of them... None of them have said hello. None of them have said hello, guys. How rude. ¿Dónde están vuestros modales? Yeah. <laughs> no seas tan borde. Say hi. Just oh say God. hi on the chat. What's wrong with you people? We really appreciate it when you say hi. Even if it's just hi, we love it. Do you, do you know what the chat is missing? It's missing today's question. That right? is true. Maybe that's why they're quiet. They're waiting for the question. And what is today's question? Today's question is, why did you start learning English? No, yeah. why did you start it? Not why did you start it. This is, a, this is a <laughs> mistake I make a lot. Yeah. Porque para, en mi cabeza de hispanohablante, si yo estoy pensando en pasado, es started. So yeah. if I'm asking a question in the past, it started. But no. It's, no, no. Si pones did, ahí ya has dicho que es pasado, luego no, no hay que decir started. Okay, yeah. so when did you start learning English? A why, right? Why. Sorry. Yeah, why. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Not to confuse you guys. Sorry. <laughs> so why did you start learning English? What was the catalyst? ¿Cómo se dice catalyst en español? Catalizador. ¿Qué fui? ¿Cuál fue? ¿Cuál fue? <laughs> wow, that was so wrong. <laughs> It's Friday, guys. Sorry. It's Friday. <laughs> ¿Cuál fue el catalizador? Very good. Wow, dude. Catalyst. Can I get a nivelazo, Tino? Nivelazo. Thank you. <laughs> I feel so much better now. If you want one of those nivelazos, you have to talk to us on Facebook chat. Mm -hmm. Just like Tino is Hi, chatting Tino. from the studio. <laughs> Angel, Mary, uh, Raulín, Goy y Mari Carmen... Uh, Ah, that's ah, my that's mom. Your mom. Hola, mami. Hi, hi, mommy's mom. <laughs> so let's go. Um, hi, pata libres, says Tino. <laughs> How would you say pata libres in English? Um, dog hair. <laughs> hi, dog hairs. But dog hairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pato. No. So you'd say, um, I don't know. I don't know. But Liebre I... is, a, is a hair. It's like but... a one of the, it's like a rabbit. Yeah, hair. Yeah, is I... it the same pronunciation as, as hair? hair? Yeah. Ah. Hair is the same pronunciation as hair. Fíjate. <laughs> Liebre y pelo se pronuncian igual. Igual. Um, Angel says, hi. Hi, Angel. Um, uh, hi. Mary Bruma Miquila says, hello. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mary Bruma. That, Mary Bruma. That is a really cool surname. It is a cool surname. 
My surname is Grams. I sound like a drug dealer. Yes, you do. <laughs> um, Rowling says, Pata liebres. Pata liebres. <laughs> I, I was asking you for a translation of, of oh. not a literal translation of pata liebres, but something that you say to people like, I honestly, I honestly <laughs> believe that Tino invented the the word pata liebre, but do, he didn't. Do you? No, I don't think it is. So what did it, well, I don't know what the trans, yeah, <laughs> so I don't know what the translation is. It's like, um, it's cannot go to even English. Yeah, like dude or something like that, but more personal. Okay. Because you, you know if, if my dude, <laughs> my dude. <laughs> Okay, My I guess man. there is no translation for pata libres in English. Let's... Yeah, it's totally Spanish. Let's forget about it. Uh, Goy says hello. Mari Carmen Estrella, Estrella says hello. Hi. Um, uh, Luis says, guten tag. Guten tag, Luis. Como? Guten tag. Guten tag. Yeah. It's German. Yeah. Guten tag. I can't say, I can't say nothing. Guten I cannot tag. say anything in German. Alles klar. ¿Qué es eso? All's well. Kaput. Uh, I can say kaput. <laughs> <laughs> I can count up to six and then I get distracted. Really? Yeah. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, six. Whoa. And then I get distracted. <laughs> okay, so um, Rowling, Bye, yeah. Rowling says, viewing from a bar in Centro del Parque. Sorry? He's, he's, ah, he's viewing us. From a bar in Centro del Parque. And? Yeah. <laughs> ah, wow. Ah. From, the, from the infamous... Um, bar next to my house. It used to be next to the um, radio station, the old radio, Vaughn radio station. Hello, Raulin. Uh, Luis, hello, my friends. Hello, Luis. Fan destacado Juan Ramon Galvez Boca Negra says hello. Good start today. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, well, that was a good start yeah, today. Yeah, it, was it, was, it was. It uh, was. Elena says hello. As does Mo Lek. I couldn't be better, he says. I couldn't be better. Yeah, so Mo. He, he's Mo's great. on fire. <laughs> So today's question, friends, why did you start learning English? Mamin, why did you start learning English? And what was the catalyst? Even okay. though I know the answer to this question. This is a little bit embarrassing. <coughs> but I started learning English because I wanted to understand Spice Girls songs oh. <laughs> and Britney Spears. Oh. So the catalyst were the Spice Girls yeah. and Britney Spears. I don't like the Spice Girls. We've, did, we've spoken about this before. I find them uh, ma machista. What? They were created by a man. The Spice Girls were created by a man. It's a fact. <laughs> they were I created know. by a man to sell records to... Um, uh, well, yeah, it was uh, appro appropriation yeah, of the girl was, power. Yeah. You call it, if, but I was... How old was I when I when this came out? Like you call nine? It sexual... I, I, I wasn't thinking of appropriation of yeah, the term no, no, no. girl power. You were thinking so. zig zig ah. Exactly. That is what I was thinking. Of. Take it off because really, they'll really ban want. us on Facebook. <laughs> 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 yeah, you were just thinking about that zig zig ah. You weren't thinking about the 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 gender appropriation that when was going I, on. I said that out. What to what to what? What to what to what to what? Because I, I couldn't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miguel Angel says, Hi, Robin, Mame. Nice to see you again. I started to learn English, or try, or I tried, no olvides el, el de, mm -hmm. or I tried um, to be able to read some technical books at least. So the, mo so the most of them are written in English because mm -hmm. most technical books are written in English. Let's get, that was a very long answer. Let's get him a nivelazo. Yes. Nivelazo. <laughs> nivelazo, Miguel. Wow. So... That was his cat. Say that again. Catalyst. That was his catalyst. Catalyst. Yeah. Technical books being written in English was his catalyst to learn yeah. the language. Mm. Yeah, I learned English. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I learned English um, originally to communicate with the people in the country where I live. Yeah. To yeah. Th this question doesn't <laughs> apply to me at all. No, but you have to answer in the Spanish version. So, what? ¿Cuál fue tu catalizador para aprender español? Yeah, I'm gonna. You're not gonna like the answer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get laid. No. Yeah, to get laid, okay. basically. To get laid. <laughs> bueno, por it's nada. Friday, guys. What, what do you want? Cada uno tiene su motivo. Yeah. <laughs> um, Gallo says hello, hello, Gallo. Uh, Mohammed Imam, big friend of the show. How are you Hi. doing, Mohammed? Um, hello, dear teachers. I started. I started to learn English. Because I have a degree in sociology. I speak French, Spanish, and Arabic. But without English, is nothing done. Nothing gets done. Uh, Mohammed, nothing that is true. Done. 
Um, Felipe says, do we like the Spice Girls? No, no, no. Let's not say we. Does my men like the Spice Girls? Everyone likes the Spice Girls. No, I do. No, not everybody likes the Spice Girls. Everyone that is worth it likes the Spice Girls. <laughs> Oh, Come on. Everyone in the who was who was born in a very specific period of time in the nineties. Mm, my bedroom walls were covered. Who was your favorite spice? The the ginger one. Ginger spice. I was gonna say this. <laughs> <laughs> the um, yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like the, the ginger one. So ginger spice is your favorite. Yeah. Also known as old spice because she was e easily the oldest, like the like oh. the aftershave. Really? No, no. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Javier says, I started to learn Eng English to travel abroad. Ooh. Oh. I'm surprised no one's saying, no one else is saying music here. Yeah, because your your bet was music. For this yeah, one. yeah. I thought music would be, would have been the catalyst. Mm -hmm. catalyzador. In my case, it was. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was the Spice Girls. <laughs> Let's draw a clear line. There's like the music... <laughs> Is on one side of this line, and on the other is Justin Bieber and the Spice Girls. I don't like Justin Justin Bieber. I don't like him. Yeah, but I do like the Spice Girls. Come on, <laughs> if I am out on a Friday night and yeah. I listen to the Spice Girls, I go crazy. Okay. So. Okay, so you're at a nightclub. Yeah. And there is some, some deep. EDM vibe going on. You're feeling the music. You're dancing, and all of a sudden you hear. Like then the, I don't even know a Spice well, Girls song. Honestly, uh, the, it depends on the. I mean, <laughs> Spice Girls are for. Drop your body down. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is for one o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. if, if it's later than three o'clock, yeah. then no. So yeah, if it's later than three o'clock, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I would, I would depends think... on on your mood yeah. and how drunk you are. And horrible music like that is always the best for me right at the end of the night. Oh really? Yeah yeah yeah. You know, just to get everybody out of the club. <laughs> you know, you play, you play, you Justin Bieber, yeah. <laughs> yes, Spice Girls, Dirty Dancing. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, why are you playing this? And the DJ says, well, "Well, tell me what you want, what you really, really want." What is that? What is that? Canela por los oídos. Canela yeah. por los oídos. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, um, Gemma says, because it was a requirement to do a master's, but I never did that master's. Instead, I followed studying English, or I, I continued mm -hmm. to study English. Oh, I kept, no? Oh, I kept studying English. Yeah, very good. So, Gemma, very good. So, well, you needed, this is true, in, in, in Spain now, if you want to do a master's degree or even a degree, you need, a, I think it's a B1 level of English. Oh, really? So, yeah, I guess that, the, that is the catalyst. That is the catalyst. <laughs> now. Need, a need. Yeah. <laughs> a need, otherwise you can't study anymore. Mm. Uh, Mo says, because I'd enhance my CV, because he wanted to en enhance the look of his oh. CV, of his curriculum vitae. Is this important? Don't lie about your English. Do you want to tell him this, the the story of when when we interviewed that can, young man? Can I do that? You can. You, we can't mention his name, <laughs> okay. but we can tef definitely tell the okay. story. Okay, don't lie on your CV <laughs> about your level of English. I mean, my level of English is pretty good, and I don't say it. I'm bilingual. Okay, so be M careful. Mamen Rivera <laughs> is bilingual. Come on. So, uh, so okay. Especially if you if you're gonna interview for a language school, si vas a hacer una entrevista de trabajo para una academia de inglés, because the other day, well, two weeks ago or so. Yeah, yeah, maybe around two weeks ago. We we were interviewing someone, Rob and I, and it was like my third time interviewing someone, yeah. which is a really cool thing to do. <laughs> it's much nicer to be at this side of yeah. the desk. <laughs> uh, so this guy had a, one of those very flashy CVs. Ooh, flashy. Flashy. I like that. Como deslumbrante, yeah. así, como muy Extravagant. Guay. Como cool. muy guay. Yeah. De estos que ponen estrellitas y yeah, porcentajes. Yeah. Y... So, <laughs> he had English and one of those circles with 80%. 80% English, we thought. Wow. And we said, okay, this guy knows his English. <laughs> so Rob said, You've got to understand when I'm doing a job interview. 
I, I am re- <laughs> <laughs> I am not the Rob that you know from the radio. No, he is the bad cop. I am the bad cop. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm the bad cop. I just I'm very kind of I give nothing away. He doesn't smile. I at don't all. smile at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he he said uh, Rob asked this guy. So how's your English? And the poor guy. <laughs> I hope he's not listening. Oh. Poor thing. Well, he learned a valuable life lesson. That he day. did. He he said, "Well, uh, just not very good." <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, "Oh my god!" No sabía dónde meterme. Yeah. Like I I I don't know how I managed not like to keep a straight face. What did What did I say to the to the young man? Y, y Rob se bajó las gafas y dijo. <laughs> Sabes que aquí pone 80%, ¿no? <laughs> 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 yeah. Poor guy. And the thing is, <laughs> he was doing really well. Up until that point, he was Up doing until well. that point, he was doing really well. He, yeah. he kind of had everything that we wanted the, yeah, yeah. the candidate to have. And... But then he lied about her, his English, so you can't we thought trust him. everything in this CV is a lie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Oops. there you go, a valuable life Don't lesson. Don't lie about your level Don't of lie. English. And if there, if the interviewer is a giddy, <laughs> <laughs> especially don't lie. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the chat. Daniela says, "Hi everyone. Hi Daniela. Hi." Um, Alberto says, "I speak English." He spells it. You spell it kind of strange, though, Alberto. He might speak it, but um, he, he write he, his writing skill might not be yeah, as, yeah. as uh, stronger. You're actually writing with a with a Spanish accent. I speak English. <laughs> I speak speak without the e on the end. I speak English. Why? I do listen and watch Vaughn because I love the portion on translation and phrasal verbs. Because you love the you you love the parts. Mm-hmm. Portion is usually usually just for food, mm-hmm. Alberto. Ration, um, no? Ration, exactly. Um, a stranger. Uh, I'm a stranger in Spain, says Alberto. Where are you from, my friend? Alberto, don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. This is an expression muy white. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm-hmm. Don't it's be a stranger. Really I like cool that expression. One. It's como oye que que estamos de colegueo. No sé cómo uh, traducir don't be a stranger. Don't no be es, a stranger. No keep in no, touch. No es no seas un extraño. No, 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 no. Es como... It's another way of saying keep in touch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Keep, keep in contact with me. Exactly. Don't be a stranger. Um, Sergio says, I started to learn English to understand mamen. Oh, <laughs> <toma>. <laughs> I am a catalyst. <laughs> and her nice show. Oh, here we go. And her nice show, or nice program, he says, Mamen Splaining. Enjoy the weekend, guys. Thank you, Sergio. <laughs> it's a great show, right? It's a great uh, show. Boss, the the guy who, who's in control of the radio content clearly knows what he's doing. <laughs> what a nice man he is. <laughs> yeah, the show is called Mam Explaining. Do yeah. you want to spl- explain why? That, no, I no, because you have to explain. You do the explaining around here, Mam. <laughs> yeah. So once I don't know why, but I told. I told you that you were mansplaining or something like that. Yeah, or you said I was robbed or something. No, I told you you were mansplaining. Mansplaining is to, like, when a man explains something Something to a woman woman that she already knows. (laughs) (laughs) So Rob was kind of of, of mansplaining (laughs) me. I'm not perfect. I'm (laughs) a 40-year-old man. And I told him, and he said, and you're (laughs) mansplaining. And then then I said, and you're rot (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And magic was born that day. And yeah, that is the title for my show, Mansplaining. I love it. Um, (laughs) Yeah, so don't miss it. Every day from 3.30 to 4 o'clock. I'm explaining. Yeah. Um, Sebastian, I started learning English because after I graduated from school, oh my God, I feel a nivelatha coming. Yes. I feel a nivelatha mm-hmm. coming. <laughs> no, okay, he's, he's waiting. It's okay. It's okay. A ver, sigue, sigue. Um, <laughs> because after I graduated from school, I had nothing else to do. So I started learning the language by myself with YouTube videos and other internet resources. It has been around five years and I'm still learning and improving. Let's get a, a, a nivelatha. Nivelatha. Nivel- Oh, what happened there? <laughs> that, that was a nivela. That, that was a nivela. <laughs> <laughs> nivela. Yeah, well, half a nivela though for you, Sebastian, and that amazing explanation. Wow, so he learned all by himself. Yeah, and yeah. He, he's got a nivelazo. Nivelazo. See, you can get a nivelazo if you have the will. Yeah, if you have the will, you can learn anything. 
Yes. Um, Daniela says, I love Jerry. Ha, ha, ha. She is the best. Yes. I believe she's referring to Jerry Halliwell. Yes. Old Spice. In España, Getty. <laughs> Getty, really? Getty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, Jose Maria says, Hi, guys. I started learning English because it was a subject in the school. At school. At school. At. Ah, this is a, one of the prepositions I know. <laughs> <laughs> a, I know, like, three. But after that, he continues, after that, I got the B1 level by Cambridge University. Um, maybe someday mm. I'll get a B2. Jose Maria, if you keep on listening to Blah Blah Live, and all the phone radio programming, you'll get a B2 yeah. tomorrow. And don't worry about B2C when... Yeah. Uh, I, don't have, know, I don't know what level yeah, of English like in, in those... Yeah. I'm sure if I, if I take the C2 exam, I won't pass it. No, you probably won't. To because, be no, I, and even you wouldn't pass it. No, because maybe. it's that too I believe. tricky and too difficult. And those, I, I honestly believe you would get a C1 and I wouldn't. <laughs> I honestly believe that. <laughs> yeah, look... Um, Jose, Jose Maria, let me tell you something. That piece of paper doesn't mean you can communicate perfectly with people when you travel ab abroad. Doesn't mean you can listen to a TV show and understand it 100%. Exactly. What you are doing right now, sir, is you are opening your ear to the English language. And no piece of paper can do that for you. So to you, sir, I salute you. Yeah. Bravo, bro. Bravo. Thank you. I did a little <laughs> preaching there. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's continue. Daniela, oh, cut off. Yeah, they cut off his nivelazo. Mm. Um, oh, wow. I've lost the. Um, ah, Feli. Feli Vasquez <laughs> says. Ah, he's inviting a friend ah, to listen to the show. Good is, man. Esto está muy bien. You can, yeah. you can tag your friends on the comments and yeah. they'll see the show too and we get more viewers. Sharing is caring, friends. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Oh, we've got quite a few viewers right now. Guys, come oh, and say yeah. hello in the chat if this is your first time listening or watching. Say hello to us. Um, Anna Rosa says, it is the language of, of business, not of the business. Mm -hmm. It is a language of business. You can travel around the world and speak with the most of the people. Mm. Most of the people. Most of the people. Or most people. Most people, yeah. Um, so you can travel around the world and speak with most people as well. Mm -hmm. Correct, Ana Rosa, thank you. Uh, Coquito, again, one of my most, one of my favorite names. On, <laughs> it is uh, a really cool name. Yeah, Coquito. Coquito. <laughs> it's like little coconut. <laughs> yeah, it's little something in English, but I'm not going to tell you what. While yeah. we're live on air. <laughs> <laughs> I started to learn English since, no, I've been learning English <clears throat> since 2008. <laughs> or I started to learn English in 2008. <laughs> You're not going to get coquito out of your brain now, are you? Yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I watched English uh, Sin Barreras. I bought the books in English. And now I watch videos on YouTube, on YouTube, not in YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, I like this language because it's very nice. I think that this language is very hard. But if you practice... No vida mm -hmm. You can do it. Am I right or oh, not? Of course. of course. If you practice, you can do it. Yeah. And this is a tip. A tip that I I always I always talk about this, but don't aim for perfection. Don't aim for perfection with your English because it's impossible. Not even the natives speak yeah, no. perfect English. So just yeah. communicate at your level. Improve little by little. Correct yeah. your mistakes. Don't get obsessed with being perfect because it's not going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just been mum and spoon. <laughs> <laughs> we, need a, we need some kind of a preaching thing yeah. for every time one of us delivers an yeah. awesome monologue. Si, si, si. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, completely right. Completely right. Um, Alberto says, what's your opinion on this, that American and British, woof, on this, that American slang, is that? A-N-G? Oh, I don't know. And <laughs> British. Even though they both speak English, they couldn't understand each other. Ah, you're ah. talking about the differences between English. Look, here's the thing, Alberto. There is no correct English. There is no English without an accent. Are you preaching again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm giving Tino time to find out. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> there is no such thing as English without an accent. When I hear Spanish people say, oh, my accent, I think... Everyone, every English speaker <laughs> in the world speaks with an accent 
Australian. The the hundreds of accents that that exist in um, in England, or in New Zealand, fashion chaps. <laughs> in the 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 mountain of accents that exist in the United States. Guys, there is no such thing as accentless English. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist. So that's my opinion on that. Muy bien, muy bien. Do we have a religious sound effect? Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we, um, uh, oh, that's our break music. Yes, don't go anywhere. No, no. We'll, we'll be back in four minutes. No, wait, wait, we can do one more question. We've got, like, <laughs> we've got like 40 seconds. Okay, okay. Miguel says, hello, my friends. I decided to learn English since I entered in an airline. You know, many foreign people, pilots, announcements, communication with control, tower, etc. Miguel, you're a legend. We'll see you <laughs> in four minutes time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Blah Blah Live. <laughs> Spice Girls Special Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Today's question is, why did you start learning English? Guys, if you've just tuned in, people are talking to us live on Facebook. So go to facebook.com barra Grupo Vaugan. Look for where it says live and have your question read out live on air <laughs> um, we have some some answers on Instagram oh right? yes do you want me to read yeah. them okay let me see we have Jessica Acosta who is a regular of my show Oh. says because I've been talking bad English my whole life and I wanted to study its grammar oh, okay very good Jessica go. Sergio Dominguez says I started to learn English because I love music and I hey. wanted to understand the lyrics. But he's clearly talking about real music, Metallica, Slayer, Ay. Slipknot. Pero si en esa no se entiende las, las lyrics. Están gritando. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can search for them on the internet. You don't need to understand the lyrics. Lyrics. Que no se usa nunca en singular. No, 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 no you never say the lyric. lyric, la letra in Spanish, we oh. use it in the singular, but in English, the lyrics. Lyrics. Es como series, mm -hmm. que nunca se usa en, en singular tampoco. Uh, Paula Soria dice, at first it was a compulsory subject, una asignatura obligatoria. Then I started loving it and now it's a part of my life. Oh. oh. I love learning English. Yeah. This is true. It's a very... I don't know how to say this. Una lengua muy agradecida. Yeah. Because with very little, you can talk a lot. Yeah. So just by, I don't know, knowing some verbs and structures, you can communicate. Yeah. It's not like German. Yeah. I love I love drinking alcohol and, <laughs> and going to the cinema. You know, I, there, 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 there's something for everyone. <laughs> Anyway, Madre mía. Oikles, Oikles, I, I love your name, sir. Yes. Here I am, most attentive to your show. Oh. Yeah, Jose Maria says, amazing, thanks a lot, Rob. I don't know what is, that is in <laughs> ref reference to. Uh, Maggie May, I love it. A teacher once told me I would be an English teacher when I was 10. He was right. Congratulations, ah, Maggie. Cool. Um, Rafa says, me too, respondiendo <laughs> a Maggie. So you're all English teachers. You're all English teachers here. Why? Chandra says, blame it on school. A long, long, long time ago, I think I... By the way, she wrote long. That's not me <laughs> insulting Chandra. Um, a long, long time ago, I think I have... Uh, ooh, I think I haven't learned a lot more since then. I think I haven't learned... I, I don't think I've learned exactly. much more, or a lot more since mm. then. Um, if I have, blame it on TV and blame it on you too. Oh, Oi. Oh, I like have to confess, I love the English language, the way it sounds, as much as I hate French, by the way. Oh, me too. No, I, not that I hate French, <laughs> but I think the English language sounds very, so much better than, than French. Yeah, I like the way yeah. French sounds. Como, como French, se, como French se is dice, a sexy language. How do you eh, el nombre Aurora en francés. I don't know. Aurora. <laughs> Come on. That is not nice. That is not sexy. No, Fr French is sexy. Come on. I don't know. Maybe because... Hello, my name is Pierre. Oh, mommy. Mm. I very much like your, your radio program. Oh, la, la. Oh, la, la. Exactly. I want cheese now. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we get a Nivelatho for Chandra? Every week she writes and every week she's awesome. Yes. No, you know, no, Tina's going, know. no. No, no Nivelatho for Chandra. I'm going cheese now. Nivelatho. <laughs> <Yay. laughs> oh, 
I can hear a delay. Yeah. Yeah. No? Yeah. No? no, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Beatrice says hi, guys. Hi, Beatrice. Hi. Uh, Beatrice was this this morning was on um, on Fitz's radio show. Oh, really? Yeah. I almost missed your program. I am here with a big fan of your show. His name is Daniel. Hello from Daniel. <laughs> Berrio, Ber, I can't roll the R. Berrio Benya. Benya. Berrio Benya. Berrio Benya. What a difficult surname for, for that's, Rob. <laughs> that's probably not even his name. She, <laughs> she probably invented that name just to make it difficult for me to say. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> and she also says, you look great, my man. Thank oh. you. <laughs> no one ever says I look great. You look great. I did, my, I did my hair especially today. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Juan Ramon Galvez Boca Negra says, I, it's been a while since I started to learn English. It's been a while since I started to learn English. Mm -hmm. um, not when I started. Um, the catalyst was to get knowledge about a different people and cultures. So you learned English for cultural reasons. Very good. A different way to use your brain. Mm -hmm. Like me with the Spice Girls. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say, yeah. I'm not going to be rude. I'm not going to be rude. Mamma, we've gotten to the end of the comments. Oh, really? Is it time? Is it time? I think so. I think it's time. Every week we have a special segment where instead of you guys learning something in English, you guys, well, let's just run the, let's just run the <laughs> Rafaga. La, la, ma, el mapa, la, ma, la mapa. Teach Rob some Spanish. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this mm -hmm. is the part of the show where we have a Spanish phrase that I do not know the meaning of. Mm -hmm. And you guys have to explain the meaning of this Spanish idiom in English to me so I can understand it. Yes. And the phrase is la primera en la fuente. No, en la fuente no. Frente. En la frente. The first in the front. Yes, this one is sponsored by Mr. Houses. By Mr. Houses on Mr. Twitter. Mr. Houses is one of the followers... That we have on Twitter. He's one he, of your biggest fans. And he's Robert. really loyal. And he gave me this idea for the show. So thank you very much. He listens to Vaughn Radio 10, 10 hours, hours, a hours a day. 10 yeah. hours a day. Mm? It's impressive. It is. He listens to more Vaughn Radio than I do. <laughs> and I listen to a lot of Vaughn Radio. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, La Primera en La Frente. Can I have a mm. guess? Okay. Um, is it to be like the first person, like when you're queuing in the cinema to be the first person to be the one in the front of the line mm, no Rob ah. that is a false friend okay in English you say in the front at the front of the queue yeah in the yeah front. but in in Spanish la frente no tiene nada que ver con esto oh. so es el frente oh okay, okay. <laughs> and la frente you're not going to tell me what it means la frente you don't know what it means no you do I do yeah okay <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I don't. No sabes lo que es la frente. No. Really? No. La frente is your forehead. forehead. Hang on a minute. Is this about, is this a bald person expression? <laughs> is this a, an expression about bald people? <laughs> Uh-oh. So let's see if anyone on Facebook is, is going to teach me, is going to teach me the meaning of the phrase la, la primera en la frente. Mm-hmm. Do we have any comments? In fact, you know, I did know that La Frente. I'm being <laughs> stupid. I did know that. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's not that I'm losing my hair, guys. I'm just gaining more and more face. <laughs> Don't feel bad for me. Um, Chandra says, easy, Bazinga. What? <laughs> bazinga. No, I think she must be talking about something okay. else. I don't know. Okay, Chandra says, <clears throat> here we go. Here we go. Let's see if I know. She says, it's like when you don't want something to happen, but then it is the first thing that happens. Exactly. Oh, I get it now. La primera, la frente. So, yeah. Can you think of fans of a an situation? An equivalent or, or a situation. Yeah. yeah. Um, when you don't want something, when, okay, when you order your Friday afternoon first beer and you, th you say, I hope she doesn't bring... I hope it's cold. <laughs> and she brings it to you and it's warm. I hope you're listening. Florina. <laughs> Florina. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there in exactly 30 minutes. <laughs> cold alcohol, please. Um, thank you, Chandra. Chandra, you just taught Rob some Spanish. Thank you. Woo! Chandra is the best. Yeah. 
Muchas that was a bit gracias, anticlimactic. Sandra. I was expecting some kind of a sound effect. <laughs> it was anticlimactic. Sorry, Chandra. So, yeah, today's question, where we've just, you just taught Rob some Spanish. Yes. La primera en la frente. Oh, I'm going to remember that for <laughs> minutes. Yeah. Um, okay, so today's question is, why did you want to learn English, right? Why, what was the catalyst? What, yeah. was, the, what was the reason? <clears throat> What? Murphy's Law, thank you, Jack. Murphy's Law. Ah, claro. Yeah, la ley de Murphy. Murphy. Murphy, lo tenemos también en español, yeah, yeah. la ley de Murphy. Es como si algo puede salir mal, va a salir mal. Yeah, if anything, anything that can go wrong will. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do you have an example? What was the last time, what was the last thing that um, happened to you that was Murphy's Law, that was la primera en la frente? Yes, <laughs> Yesterday. Yes. Well, it's not exactly the same, same thing. La primera en la frente is like you are is expecting uh, una, un, una serie de cosas y la primera sale mal. Oh, okay. La ley de Murphy es que sale mal. Everything yes. goes wrong. Yeah. So, yeah. Yesterday, my friend Laura invite, invited me to her house to see the, the sunset. That's so beautiful. And, and the sun didn't set. <laughs> it was daytime all night. <laughs> Close, casi. And everything... La primera en la frente. <laughs> everything, went, everything went wrong. Uh, Elias got into a traffic jam. Oh. So everything went wrong. And by the, by the time we get there, it was already night, so we didn't oh. see the sunset. But she cooked an amazing... Well, not her, her. Her boyfriend cooked an amazing dinner. What a nice man. What did he cook? Oof, many things. Uh, roast potatoes with cheese, oh. nachos, oh. grilled cheese, toast. It was I'm, I'm noticing cheese being a main component. Yeah, yeah because they're vegetarian. <laughs> not for not for the lactose intolerant that place. Yeah, if you are lactose intolerant, intolerant, no. open a window. They they don't eat meat, so no. <laughs> that's why cheese. Yeah, does cheese does cheese contain proteins? Is pro, is that is it protein rich food cheese? Yes. I know it's a del I know it's a del deliciousness rich food. <laughs> I mean, cheese should be its own food group. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the last meal I had that didn't include cheese. Let me think. <laughs> no, I can't think of a single one. The coffee. Yeah, why not? <laughs> is coffee a meal? Mm, no, no, not really. No, not really. I mean, it is. It is. No, it, your breakfast this morning didn't have didn't have cheese. Oh. You had toast. With. I had toast and bread, that's right. Mm. Yeah, toast with um, tomato and a little olive oil and some salt. And I <laughs> ate it for, feeling very, very cosmopolitan. Hello, everybody. Is Into that cosmopolitan tea. for you? Because yeah. that's like the typical desayuno del pueblo de toda la vida. Really? <laughs> Tostada con tomate. Really? Because my <laughs> normal breakfast is coffee and a cigarette, man. I mean, uh, <laughs> if, I, if I eat anything, I feel quite cosmopolitan. I feel quite European. Uh, hello, I'm eating <laughs> bread with tomato on it. Look at me. Like there's nothing, there's nothing like there's nothing nicer than the feeling of going by to buy a stick of bread, you know, at the at the, at the corner shop. Yeah, no, you don't understand, man. In Rivera, you're a very simple human being. Rob. I am a simple man with simple pleasures. You go and you buy your baguette, it's still warm. You rip the top off and you eat it oh, on yes. the way home. Come on, mm. guys. Yeah, life is good. <laughs> yeah. So um, you that was that's a genuine answer to the question. Then you learnt English because of the Spice Girls. Yes. But your parents are teachers, right? Yes, they're English teachers actually. Yeah. But they they weren't my teachers, and they had enough with me behaving. So they <laughs> they, they couldn't be asked for more. Did they um, did they speak to you in English in the house? No, never. No. No. Nunca, yeah. nunca. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they should have. <laughs> Yeah, so? my my grandmother used to speak to me exclusively in Spanish, in um, Italian, mm -hmm. and I would exclusively reply to her in English. <laughs> I can't remember the last conversation I had with my grandmother where Aww. she spoke to me in English. Oh, and and now you regret it because you no, would speak not perfect Italian. It would have been a waste of time because now I speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can say tartaruga. Ta una bella tartaruga, eh? che cosa mangero? <laughs> Il <Io> osso. <laughs> a, a beautiful turtle. Turtle or tortoise, sorry. I love that. What turtle. does it eat? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, what do turtles eat? Lettuce and cheeseburgers. No. No, not cheeseburgers. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Do they eat other animals that. or are they. 
Yeah. Vegan. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, they eat a lot of cheese because, yeah, they're, they're vegan. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, no, no. Vegans don't eat cheese. No, they don't. Or honey. Que <laughs> jaleo. I know. Honey. Yeah, oh, they don't yeah. eat honey because true, it comes true, from true. bees. Story. Uh, the Ninja Turtles ate pizza. Ah, yeah, yes, there you go. So, Lucia, <laughs> pizza. Um, oh, wow, we're missing all the comments. Sorry, guys, we're back, <laughs> we're back. Louis says, perhaps like Murphy's Law, but it's totally sure that it will happen the first time. Exactly. Uh, Angel says, when you try to do something and when you start, the first thing you do is completely wrong. Very good, thank you, guys. Juan Ramon says, la primera en la frente. It's It could be the fall at the first sight. Fall mm. at first sight? No, I don't know. I don't even know if that's an expression. Fall, isn't it love at first sight? Oh, mama, that's so <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Mr. Mamin Rivera is probably listening. Please. <laughs> Are you talking about the message? Yes. Fall at, ah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I get so confused. you cannot say fall at man. first time, is it? It's no, just I, I didn't love at first time. <laughs> that was my point. It's love at first sight, is the expression. Fall at the first sight. I don't. I don't mm. recognize that. As, no. No. Um, Juan Ramon. Sorry, I mean fall at the first hurdle. Ah. Yes. Eso sí. Do you, know what, Eso sí. do you know what the first hurdle is? Do you know what a hurdle is? No, I know the expression, but I know where it comes from. It's from the races where you have to jump over the, ah. you jump over like a, a wooden bar. Okay. Like in the Olympics, those are hurdles. Mm, obstáculo. Um, no, I don't know how you say hurdle. Let's see. In um, uh, Yes, I think so. I think it's obstáculo. No. Yeah, you call the race hurdles. No, I don't know if they have a more technical name, but I think so. It is obstáculo, Jack, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Carrera de Carrera de okay, well, there you go. Yeah. I've been educated. Thank we, you. We have a ghost <laughs> in the studio today. Um, Rafa says, hi, guys. Nothing to complain about you, Rob, but I'm so glad my man has her own show now. Anyway, you guys rock. <laughs> Thank you, Rafa. <laughs> Whatever, Rafa. <laughs> la Primera en la Frente, when you're expecting that something does not occur. <clears throat> Not not to occur. Mm. And then it's the first thing that you find, or something like that. Thank yes. you, Miguel. Yeah. Uh, Rafa says, congratulations, Mamen, in response to, um, uh, in response <laughs> to his own message. <laughs> Thank you. She deserved her own show. <laughs> she deserved her own show. Okay, my, I'm blushing. If you start yeah. doing that, I'm going to blush and... Yeah. I want to be good on the camera. <laughs> Thank God no one ever says anything nice to me, because when bald <laughs> people blush, I look like a tomato. <laughs> It's, it's, not a, it's not a pleasant sight, guys. So, yeah, guys, it's Friday. And what, what are your plans? What are your plans for the weekend, Mum and Rivera? Um, I was going to see the Joker today. <laughs> but apparently there are no good tickets for it. There are no good tickets or there are no tickets? There are, there are some tickets, but they're not good. You have to sit at the side no. of the mm. cinema. No, I don't want to sit Yeah, there. No. no. It's awful when you have to see some weird Kind of, no. you have to watch from a weird angle. Yeah, and this is more philo for me. Uh, every time I go to the cinema, el cabezón más grande se pone delante. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I hate most is when people make noise. Yes. That's the worst for me. I can, like, I can adjust my seat to see past someone's <clears throat> head. You know, the worst case scenario is you've got an ear in <laughs> front of the screen. But when people talk, it drives me crazy. I have to fight off the urge to kill. The last time I was in the cinema, and you can ask my girlfriend this, the last time I was in the cinema, I said out loud, <laughs> um, what was it I said? Hang on, wait. I said, dude, will you shut the bleep up <laughs> out loud? And then my girlfriend nudged me and she said, what's wrong? Is everything okay? And I said, no, this mother beeper won't shut the beep up. Oops. You, you know what happened, mummy? He shut the beep up. He shut the bleep up. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of the movie was enjoyable. Yeah. Is, what was the last thing you went to see at the cinema, Mama? I told you last week. Um, and I, I haven't been to the cinema this week. So uh, once upon a time in Hollywood. Ah, yeah, that's right. I went really see, good. I went to see it too. Did we have this conversation last week? I think so on the show as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, deja vu. <laughs> Deja vu. Yeah. What was your what was what was the best movie you've seen this year? Do you like do you do you follow the mm. summer cinema releases? 
No. No? You don't do you don't like to follow the summer blockbusters. Mm. No, I don't know. I just don't know. I if I want to see a film, I just see it. I don't You don't you're not a, a, a cinephile? No, I'm not. I like cinema oh. and I yeah. enjoy films, but I'm not like looking for the films and no? That. no oh god i'm really looking forward to seeing the joker <laughs> man i am a bit of a cinephile mm -hmm. i am a bit of a cinephile like i follow the youtube channels that do all the gossip from mm. from movie land from hollywood <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah i don't know i don't know i i, I am very much looking forward to seeing the yep. joker i'm going to go on sunday I'm going to go on Sunday. Guys, have you seen The Joker yet in chat? Can you tell us if no, it's good or not? Don't say anything. No spoilers. <laughs> don't spoil The jo Joker for us. But I, is it good? <laughs> is it a good movie? Yeah. I, I think it's going to be a good movie. That's what they say. But they also, I'm hearing that there, there is, there is, um, there is a comments out there saying that the, the movie might provoke violence. Did you know that? The movie provokes violence. It could provoke violence. Yeah, apparently, apparently the 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 main character, the Joker, if you like, the the main character or the man that becomes a Joker, um, the the style of um, the style of violence and the graphic nature of what happens. Yeah, apparently it's mm -hmm. it, it it could remind people of things. Some of the things that happen could remind people of violent acts that have happened in in real life. That's what they're saying. Rob, if you watch a cooking show, I, I order. Feel, I order food. Yeah. You don't feel like cooking after that because you don't like no. cooking. So yeah, yeah, this is a bit stupid. Yeah, I don't. Don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't agree with that. I don't think movies or video games cause violence. You know, I think you know. Mm. I think I think people cause those things. Yeah, me too. But there is a huge, a huge number of people out there in the world that believe that that mm. movies and video games and and media is responsible um, uh, for 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 violence, for um, uh, for everything from drug abuse to you know, this show's gotten very serious all of a sudden. They they shouldn't watch the news then because yeah. that m makes me violent more than the Joker. <laughs> everything yeah. ugly that is happening in the world is so. Uh, it's worse than that. Um, Sergio asks, what's the best English movies? What's the best English movies, in plural? <laughs> oh, what's your favorite movie, the English movie? best English movie. Mm. Yeah, English, like not American, like an English-British movie? Yeah. I see. I you don't, don't know, know any English movies. Uh, you I, do know your co-host is English, right? Uh, yes, but probably <laughs> I don't know if they are American or English. They're just in English, and the actors can be from everywhere. So, <laughs> oh, Mama but what, Rivera. Okay, this is a question I always have about yeah. cinema. What makes uh, a film English or American or Spanish? I because am. the director can be if it's, Italian yeah. and the film was made in Hollywood and the actors were from Japan. Okay. So for me it's set in England or it's funded by British <laughs> so by it's British means. Who who produced pay, who pays yeah. for the film basically. Yeah, for me okay. it's the producer. It's about the producer. Okay. It's a British movie. Then I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the films I it, like are yeah, because if it, if it weren't <laughs> that then Game of Thrones would be a British exactly. production mm -hmm. because all the actors are British. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not. It's American. <laughs> um, Monty Python's Holy Grail ah. says um, says Jack. I'm not sure. I do like. I, I think I prefer Life of Brian. As a <laughs> yeah, British, Life, of, as Life of Brian is, is is brilliant. He's not the Messiah. He's a very <laughs> naughty boy. <laughs> um, for me, it, it depends what kind of a what kind of movies do you like, Sergio? Mm. Because if you like horror, I could recommend The Descent. Dog Soldiers. Oh, The Descent is really yeah. good. I love that one. Yeah, there's a lot of good English, British, I should say, British movies. Um, the Joker is scary, says Luis. <laughs> uh, Sebastian says, I watched it last night and it was great. Such an interesting movie. Okay. Oh, you're making us excited to see it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it, but that, that, is the, that is the current um, the current talking point for The Joker. Um, that it makes it violent. The, yeah, that it encourages or in some way glamorizes um, violence. 
I think it's a stupid argument too. It glamorizes violence. Yeah. Como que le, es como glamour, ser glamouroso, I mean, you, ser violento. If you put anything in front of a camera, though, you're glamorizing it to a certain extent. It's so just, are it's we a, glamorizing English right now? We are glamorizing <laughs> English, you and I. Do you feel glamorous, my Oh, my God, no. No, me neither. Not at all. I feel slightly sweaty and quite with, tired. With these ugly headphones <laughs> on. <laughs> um, Chandra says, love actually. Love actually, great movie. The Holiday. Oh, I don't know the holiday. Are um, movies we Spanish people can consider typical British or ah. typically British? Yeah. You know, England isn't like Love Actually, right? It's a lot more like <laughs> Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, Love Brian. Billy Elliot. Billy Elliot, also a British movie. Mm. You know, it's a British movie when um, uh, when Hugh Grant is in it. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, but What's I, your I, favorite Spanish movie? Uh, film? Celda 211. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, easily. I think Luis Tosa is a brilliant actor. <laughs> yeah. Te, te identificas con Luis Tosa. <laughs> hey, we bold men have to stick together. That's what I'm going to say. Luis Tosa, I love your style, man. I love your look. <laughs> Um, oh, guys, that music means we're almost running towards the end of oh. the show. Guys, it's been such a pleasure today. Thank you for your comments. Thank you, Mame. Thank you, Rob. I hope <laughs> you enjoy the Joker this weekend. <laughs> I hope so as well, if I get to go. You will. There are lots of <laughs> tickets for Sunday. Um, ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. I have been Rob Grams. And I've been Mamen Rivera. And you've just been listening to Blah Blah Live. Bye.